What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're kind of doing a style of video from like six years ago. When we had our Genesis Coupes. Way back in the day. So we're gonna compare window tint on all of our vehicles because we have all completely different percentages. On the Super here, I have 35%. On the GTR, I have 30%. And then 26, 27 is on the Tacoma. And they all also have a 70% film on the windshield as well. So basically we're going to see the differences between obviously the different percentages and just to get a good look at everything. So windshield 70% is obviously identical on each car. So with this 35%, you can see how well we can see through it. It's still very dark given it is a smaller coupe like this. But you can just get a really good look how we can see through the glass and then how it looks into the actual car itself. Should I go on the other side to add some color to this bright red? So there is Mike on the other side. You can vaguely see him. Can you kind of see that? Yeah. So we'll go over to the GTR. Of course, we have the same windshield. You can see it should be identical to the Supra. Now in here, it is a little bit darker. I can tell at least in person. I don't know if the camera will really show it. But as you look inside, it's definitely a little bit darker. And actually, before Mike does that, just from a little bit farther away, you can see how the 30 compares to the 35. You can see how it's a little bit lighter on here, so a little bit of a difference. And then this does have a red interior versus a black interior, but nonetheless, it still is darker. And then with Mike through it, it is a little bit harder to see. You can see a little bit of him. Harder than the Supra? Just a little bit. Yeah. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up too well, but then just a good far look at 30, and then heading back over to 35%. And of course this car does have a little bit smaller glass being the Supra. So then now, Mike, we'll go ahead and check out the Tacoma. So it has the same 70% again. Uh, yep, on the windshield. On the windshield. Which is honestly probably the best thing ever as far as heat reduction. Yeah. I you like literally to... don't feel the sun just melting you. It's amazing. Yeah. So this is about, I think it's 26% on the front. The back measured in a little bit darker, closer to 23 or 18, something like that. Yeah, it was closer to 23 just because it's privacy glass, which is darker already from the factory. Yeah. So we tried to match them as close as possible. So then to take a look at the front glass, it is definitely darker than the other cars. A little bit harder to see in the reflections. Obviously, you can see everything. You can see the dash a little bit. And then the back, you really can't see in at all. Pretty much blacked out. And then with Mike, I don't know where he even is. Can you even see me? I can see the letter. Yeah, I can see a little bit. Yeah. So then we'll just kind of walk from the back now so you can get a really good look at the overall look of the Tacoma. It's definitely more blacked out, but not too bad. And then to even just look at the back glass on the GTR, this is definitely darker. There is the black carpeting right here and then the rear red seats. So that looks very dark on the GTR. Same with these little windows are very blacked out. The Supra, it is a little bit lighter. You can see the silver cross beam and that's just basically a good look at it. So that's kind of a good overview. I guess we'll hand it off to Mike now. He can show you the yep. next steps What's or the next? the next step. What's the next? The next set of looks. We didn't show the back glass on the Tacoma real quick. This is the same privacy glass as the sides there. So even here, it's still very hard to see through. You can barely see to the front seats there. So now we're gonna take a look at the actual tint levels of the glass. So this is like low 20s. So you can see normalness and then into the glass and then just a good before and after. And now the front, mid to high lighter. 20s. Yeah, yeah, it's a few percentage points higher. So there, you can definitely see a difference between that one and then that one, this is definitely a little bit darker. Now we'll go on to the 30%. So it's a little bit lighter as you can tell, not, not too much, I don't know if it'll all come up on camera. And then on to the 35, the lightest glass we have. It's a little lighter, again, really hard to tell. I mean, we're talking 5% differences. So then now we'll move on to the inside to see what it's like looking through the car. And quite honestly, as far as night driving goes, none of our vehicles, we have any issues. You can absolutely see everything perfectly fine. So we definitely have no issues driving at night or any dark weather or rainy weather. And now in the GTR with the 30%, we'll take another look. Again, everything you can see at super well. You can tell how the side is darker than the windshield. But again, no issues whatsoever. With the Tacoma being darker in the back, how's that? Yeah, the one thing that I would say is I don't have any visibility issues looking out of the windshield. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said that when we got our windshields done, like how are you gonna see at night? Yeah. The windshield makes no difference because it's 70, but I can tell if I roll the window down about halfway at nighttime, you can see headlights and things clear, like they're brighter. Yeah. But even with the window up, I mean, it's it's just like putting on sunglasses. It dims those bright lights coming at you. So a little bit, but nothing. But you can still see the cars and traffic and everything. Yeah. 
So here's a good spot. You can see how the rear is darker. A little bit lighter, and then a little bit lighter for the windshield. It's not like limo tint. You know, it's not 5% all around where you need the windows down to see, especially at nighttime. Yeah, and when I worked so at the car down. dealership, we had a ton of cars with 10 to 15%. That's when it gets horrible. <laughs> we had a truck with literally 5% all around. In the daytime, I couldn't see anything. Yeah. So if you're under 15, you're going to have issues. 70% um, windshield, no big deal. And anything in the 20s to 30s for normal glass. I don't have any issues with. Honestly, I would even say anything darker than this would be hard because I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm borderline, but it's definitely dark. So then one last look at the overall vehicle. They definitely look really good with nice window tint on them. And then we'll have the separate film videos that we had on each vehicle getting everything installed in the description below. And all these cars are equipped with very, very high quality window film that actually blocks out like 99% of the harmful UV rays. And I think it's like 85% of the heat. And there is a drastic difference between this tint that we have in all these cars versus the cheap tint and of course versus no tint. So definitely a really, really important modification to do to any car. And they definitely look amazing. We like them. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Just a quick comparison with the window film that we have on each of our cars. Also, don't forget about our GoPro giveaway for the month of February. All you have to do to be eligible to win, be a subscriber to the channel, and comment on videos. We're going to pick the video with the most comments at the end of February and pick a random winner from that. And that's all you have to do to win a GoPro. Anything else? Uh, yeah, just a quick look, kind of yeah. filming this like back eight years ago when we were filming with the Genesis. Yeah. But uh, there's the window tint. They're all, they look good for what they are, and the tint yeah. looks good, and they perform well. And that's a good look at it all. Yeah. So we'll have each individual installation for all three vehicles down in the description below if you want to see a more in-depth video on each one of the cars. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video.